In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an EEPROM. Now, the one that you're looking at right here, I removed from a Xerox copying machine that I found at the dump. What an EEPROM is, is an erasable, programmable, read-only memory chip. It's an older version. The newer versions are known as EEPROMs. And the difference between the two is, one is electrically erasable, the more modern type, and the old type is erasable when it's exposed to UV light. What I'm going to do now is use my microscope and look into the window to show you the internal structures of the EEPROM. All right, you're looking at a 40 time magnification of the silicon chip. It is approximately three millimeters square. You can also see all the wires which are spot welded onto the silicon chip. Each wire appears to be silver or a copper wire plated in silver. The two rectangular regions on the chip are like solar cells. They collect the ultraviolet light which in turn erases the chip. Underneath the chip you can see a gray area. That's the adhesive which bonds the chip to the ceramic substrate. In this video clip you're going to see the focus adjusting for different depths looking into the chip. So right now you can see it's blurry at the top and the very bottom is very clear where the adhesive is. You can see the graininess starting to come out. It's very sharp. And now I'm going to focus away from the bottom and move higher up onto the chip. You can see the areas where the wires are spot welded onto the silicon chip. They are now very clear and we're going to continue to move higher towards the top of the wires where those wires will become very clear. You can see the left side where the wires are spot welded onto the silicon chip. Now you can see a bunch of very small areas which appear to be components. It's incredible how small they actually make them to fit inside these chips. And to the right of the screen, the bluish area, is your ultraviolet light collector, just like a solar panel. And that's where the UV light will be directed in order to erase the EEPROM. This here is the lower left hand corner, just like I showed you the top. This is the upper right area, showing some very small components to the left of the pins. What you're looking at now is the central region between the upper and lower UV collectors. And in this image here, we are now looking at the upper right hand corner at a magnification of 200 times. Just to the left of the spot welded wires on the right side of the screen, you can see a whole bunch of rectangular white areas appear to be components. And to the left of that, there's two more white rows. Hard to tell exactly what they are. I am unable to zoom in any closer than 200 times due to the fact that the lens on the microscope will cover the entire quartz window on the EEPROM, not allowing light to enter for me to see what's in there. So the maximum magnification will be around 200 times that you see right now. In this image here, which is on the left side, you can see it looks like three one-way streets, like you're looking down into a neighborhood. And right below the one on the far right with the dotted line, you can see underneath that there's a series of little rectangles with orange and blue. And those are all components. It's uh, truly amazing how small everything has been made. People take it for granted when they use these chips, but they are amazing. And the last image, you're now looking at a close-up of that region between the upper UV collector and the lower. And you can see a bunch of rectangular areas in there. Just incredible how small. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you very much for watching.